Hello everyone, this is CY once again. Thank you for joining my channel. Um, today I'm just going to share with you something that I have uh, discovered about the static issue with the DF64. As everyone uh, who has uh, used the DF64 knows that uh, static is really a serious problem. And uh, some, um, some of us have resort to using RTT to actually solve the static issue. Uh, but I have discovered that uh, there's a device, if you use it, uh, it will actually reduce the tr uh, static drastically. And uh, I'm quite sure it's due to the material and the way that the coffee is actually dispersed. So right now I'm going to show you. This is actually a, a sort of funnel which, which actually helps to distribute coffee. And I use it to uh, hold the coffee and disperse the coffee uh, to aerate the coffee whereas the coffee is being grinded. So let me show you what it is. Right, as you can see right now, I have uh, the DF64. Um, this one is installed with the uh, SSB Casper, which is the silver coated version. Okay, let me show you briefly. Right, I'm um, not too sure whether you can see. Right, this is actually the Casper looks very similar to the uh, titanium but it is actually the SSB Casper inside and currently my grind setting if you can see is at 50 so it's pretty coarse and I'm going to grind uh, some coffee bean to show you the before and after so you can see right now the exit is pretty clean so let me get some coffee bean and grind and show you so I'm just going to use my standard you know um, tilting um, this dosing cup um, adapter right which I have designed and uh, let me put some coffee inside right this is the our pea berries right I, I usually make it for pour over coffee because it has a very lime uh, and taste so let me show you without RDT and without um, the sort of a uh, metal cup which actually solved solve the issue. Let me just show you. So this is grinded quite coarse and of course this is installed with my uh, current version of the decumper. So I'm just going to bellow. Right, so doesn't really have a lot of static issue. Right, and there's a shaft of course, and the shaft is not built up over my exit chute. Um, normally, the shaft can be, the fine coffee powder can be quite um, apparent. So let me show you again, let's say if I grind it fine. So now I'll be switching to, of course, when you make the adjustment, you can switch on the grinder, right? When you turn. So currently I'll be, I'll be grinding quite fine. Currently it's about maybe 12. Let's grind at 12, which is, which is the espresso grind range. So let me show you again. So of course this is installed with my declumper and you can see um, it has no static issue at all and I don't even do RDT so uh, and um, yep so I let you have a closer look right so when you grind fine uh, there's no coffee ground at all uh, but this is not the main thing I'm showing you today because um, let me grind coarser and show you. Just now I was grinding at 50 for the coarse range. Now I'll grind at 60, right? 55, 60. And uh, let me try to get some coffee that has quite a bit of shaft. Right, let's use my uh, Yunnan red wine coffee. This is about approximately 20 grams, right? So which is uh, usually the dose I use for 
uh, filter coffee. So let me get this away. So remember, this is now at a grind setting of 60. Right, this is actually the static issue, and which is pretty bad, uh, when you, especially when you grind course. And the static is not only attracted to the exit chute, it is also all over the body, right? And it's uh, pretty messy. So let me switch it off. Okay, let me grab my um, vacuum cleaner and clean up, and then I'll get back to show you uh, when I grind with the funnel, the metal funnel, which I use for. Uh, this you building coffee and this is something i got really cheaply around uh, probably 10 to 15 dollars and it's really handy small and compact sorry about the noise all right so everything is clean up so now let me dose the uh, same amount of coffee Which is about 20 grams. Right, and I'm gonna use this, right? This is normally what I use to dose espresso coffee, but this can also be used on the filter. And uh, this is the brand that I use, right? I think it's a uh, quite a famous brand from China, and it's called a it's called the um, WH uh, MHW3 Bomber. Right, so this is, I believe, is made of uh, steel. Right, so let me show you. Open the cap. Right, so I'm gonna switch it on. Let me try to bellow. Right, you can see there's totally no static at all. Right, so this has improved uh, the static issue even if I grind at the same setting of 60. Right, so you can see that now the exit chute has no static at all. Right, so this method actually helped to reduce static even without RDT. So you can try to get something like this, which is going to help you. Anyway, uh, when I do my filter coffee, uh, I like to use this because, uh, you know, I can cover this and I can give it a little shake. And then my coffee can be distributed really evenly. And uh, when I make my coffee, uh, it will give me a more aromatic cup and the taste will be uh, better when I do my filter coffee. And it works as well for um, espresso. So this is uh, my method, which I will recommend to you if, you're, if you are able to get something like this for yourself, right? Give it a try and I think it works wonderfully, right? Well, thank you for joining me today. Uh, it's going to be a short video today. And uh, this is really uh, recommended if you are um, really worried about static issue, right? If not, uh, you know, a vacuum cleaner will solve your problem right if uh, you find that it's too messy right but personally um, it doesn't really bothers me because uh, I have a vacuum cleaner and uh, I, I look I like to keep it clean anyway so um, use of this will give you an extra step in the workflow right so uh, it may not be actually um, be very efficient but I think it does give you a better cup of coffee right because uh, of the way the coffee is being dispersed and aerate and mix with the oxygen in the air right so try this and uh, let me know in the comment down uh, comment section down below uh, if you have this around right uh, give it a try uh, i'm not too sure whether it works for other uh, metal dosing cup like this right um, because uh, this one has a pain outside so i'm not too sure whether this will remove uh, the static issue um, 
as compared to that one right but this has been really effective in reducing static so to give you a try right let me know in the comment section down below what do you think about this method and uh, do you do RDT right uh, personally if I use the Casper I do not do RDT um, at all uh, because I just don't want to have uh, water no matter how small the amount to get into my um, grinder right so that's only my personal preference right this is you once again thank you for joining me uh, today right um, I have uh, posted out the question regarding uh, my weekly live stream I'm still figuring out um, okay I have already figured out the topic I want to talk about but I will need some volunteers to join me right um, I will need a volunteer uh, probably someone who has uh, a DF64 and own a DF64 with Itamail burr sets and also an Itamail with multi-purpose burr right so I will need you to join me uh, maybe two to three of you right to join me for a session uh, I can make some coffee for you and we can chit chat over Friday night right so uh, Friday night I will be uh, inviting two or three of you to my showroom and we can actually talk about coffee and we can actually taste about you know the coffee made from four different kind of burr and of course you might mark <laughs> you'll be you'll be quite heavily caffeinated right so if you are joining me on the night right uh do remember if you cannot sleep well after you go home please do not blame me right but it's going to be a fun session uh testing different kind of uh, bird together so the reason why i'm inviting two more is because i have the ssp uh the yellow one is ssp high uniformity right the red color one is ssp cv burst so i have these two birds already there and i want to compare with the stock etamail as well as the SSP multi-purpose. Well, I have them, but I do not have enough grinders. All my grinders are sold out completely. So um, please let me know, right? Um, um, of course, I can only extend my invitation to um, local. Um, uh, if you're in Singapore, right, um, do reach out to me. Um, I will flash my uh, contact number uh, later on, or I'll just leave my contact number down in the section below, comment section down below, so that you can actually contact me uh so that we can have a fun session together right so thank you for joining me today if you have not subscribed to my channel remember to hit the subscribe button like my videos and i'll see you very soon in the next one stay safe good morning 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 morning